Well, Little Dot started because there was a painting in my hometown museum that always meant a lot to me, and it's called Young Woman Powdering Her Nose. It's a tiny little Syrah painting. It's, th it's this big. And when I would look at that painting, I would always envision all the little pieces of it, the little dots of paint, falling to the floor. And I always thought it would be so much fun to sort through all those little dots. Because in the same way that the painting was painted, I wanted to unpaint it and pick it apart. And I found there were 14 colors in the entire painting. It was so satisfying to do. It was so much fun because I felt like I was really finding out how he painted. So I had this chart and I've carried it around with me for several years now, trying to figure out what in the world I was going to do with it. So it came to me after thinking about it that the best way to translate this piece was to do it with ballet into the beret movement, which is kind of a pulsating dot movement. Ballet is a dance form that also has nutty rules like Seurat had. The whole way he came up with this dot idea and like stabbing the, the painting with these little pieces of paint is because he felt like he was following the scientific rules of color. The whole painting is just a figure in a, in a ground. So the stage is the shape of the painting. There are 14 different colors in the painting, so I had 14 different pairs of ballet shoes placed on the stage on poles. They're dyed those colors, and they're on the top of the pole. And each pole has all the numbers and the codes of that particular color. She would dance the beret dots of that color. Ballet is so beautiful, but it's got all these very rigid rules, and the whole thing with the, you know your feet on their toes is very bizarre. And maybe this is why I felt a kinship to Seurat, because I felt like he thought he was figuring out these, these rules, and he ended up with something so odd. And I love that sort of thinking, where you, you start looking at something, and you, you sort of filter it through your idiosyncratic way of thinking, and then you come out with something that you never expected you'd come out with, that hopefully is curious.